Hi, this is Josh from Over the Shoulder Coding, where I help you prepare for software engineering interviews by guiding you through solving real problems. In this series, I will walk you through HackerRank's 30 Days of Code Challenge day by day. In day 15, we're working with linked lists. A linked list is a data structure created to represent lists of elements where each element has a reference pointing to the next element in the list. The elements of the list are called nodes. Each node has a data field that points to where the next node is stored. You can add and remove elements to a linked list just like an array. Let's look at the quick tutorial HackerRank has provided for a better understanding. Here we have a diagram of a singly linked list of three nodes, node N0, N1, and N2. When I say a singly linked list, I mean that each node only has a link to its next node. No node has a link to its previous node. So you only know what is next in the list, but not what was before you. If each node had a link to the nodes before and after it, we would call it a doubly linked list. The advantage of using a linked list over an array is that each node doesn't have to be stored next to each other in memory. So you can dynamically increase and decrease the size of the list without running into memory issues. The downside is that you cannot randomly access elements in the list in linear time. You have to walk through the whole list up to the node you're searching for. If you want an in-depth explanation of linked lists, read through this tutorial and watch the video created by Blondie Blights here. Let's get back to today's task. We want to complete the insert function. This function will do the following things. First, it will create a new node, then pass data as an integer into the node constructor. Then it will insert the node at the tail of the linked list referenced by the head parameter. Finally, it will return the head node. HackerRank has already created the node class in the editor with the data field data and a pointer to next, which is another node. We need to implement the insert method, which takes in two parameters, head, which is the first node of a linked list, and data, an integer that must be added to the end of the list as a new node instance. Let's look at the example to better understand what we need to do. The sample input shows that we're going to get five lines of input. The first line contains the size of the list, which is four. Then each following line is an element that we need to add to our list with the insert method. The expected output of the linked list is printed in order from head to tail. Let's look at the editor to see what code is being called to produce the output. On line 16, we have a for loop that takes each element in our input t from line 14 and converts it to an integer, then inserts it into our list. We can see on line 15 that head is initialized to none. So we know that we need to handle the case where on the first element being passed in to our insert method, head might be none. So we need to create a new node and set it as the head. Let's take a stab at our insert method. We know that in all cases, we need to create a new node with a data parameter from our data. So we will do that first. If we are handling the case where our head is none, we can simply return our new node as the head of a list. Otherwise, we will iterate through all the elements in the list starting at the head until we reach an element that does not have a defined node, a defined next node, like here. Then we will add our new node as that element's next node. Finally, we will finish by returning our head node. Now that we understand the problem, let's dive into the code. Let's implement our insert method. The first thing we should do is create our new node instance. We create it by calling the node constructor that HackerRank has already defined here and passing in our data parameter. Next, let's check to see if we are starting a new list. If our head parameter is none, then we should return our new node as a head. Up 
Otherwise, we should start at the head and iterate through the list. Let's set a reference to our current node starting at the head. To iterate through the list, we will check if there is a next node, then jump to that node by setting our current reference to the next node. We will reach the end of our list when our current node has no next node, so we will exit the while loop. Now we just have to set our current node's next reference to our new node to insert it at the end of the linked list. Finally, we will return the head of our list. That should be it. Let's test our solution. Great, looks like we passed the test case. Let's submit it and see how we did. Awesome, looks like we passed all the test cases. Thanks for watching. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you missed the previous video, please click here to review it, or click here to view the full Hacker Rank 30 Days of Code Challenge playlist. If you want to see me solve other problems, please comment down below. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. Thanks, and I'll see you later.